brother's hand. What about hugging? With regards to hugging someone, then it depends. You hug someone because you love them for Allah's sake. You hug someone because it's a cultural practice. You hug someone because they came from a trip or a journey. You haven't seen them in a long time. Labas. And there are narrations regarding that. They're what? Narrations regarding hugging and embracing a Muslim that comes from a journey. As far as the sunnah of giving a brother a hug all of the time, every single time you see him and meet him, then that's something I necessarily haven't read. I haven't necessarily read any hadith like that. It doesn't mean it's haram or disliked, but to say that it's a sunnah to give a brother a hug each and every time you see him or shake his hand, Allahu Alam. Alam him, bidinai ta'ala, hopefully it's good that can't bring any harm. Khairun bila shar. Khairun bila shar. A virtue. You see your brother give him a handshake, specific hadith about that. Each and every time. Hug or not, traveling or not. And if you want to give him a hug, or as we do in New York, you give him a dap, half of a hug, something like this, you're good, something like this, love us. Mashi. Lakin al mansus ali, waladi ja'a fihi al khabar, waladi fihi al athar, huwa al mu'anaka lil insan aladi, qad wafid wa ta'a min bu'id. هذا باختصار والله أعلم. You've got to wash your body physically. Um, that's the, the best way to do. And uh, what side will help you store to wash your body? On the right side or on the left side? Clear. As far as reading Surah Al Kaf, is it a Sunnah or is it not a Sunnah? To keep things simple and easy, there are many ulama who say that it's Sunnah and it should be done. And they base it off of hadiths. Regarding reading that surah, clear on that or not? So let's take a, a, keep things simple and easy. Uh, a a well-known scholar that you respect in hadith will be who Abdul Qawi, the average layman Muslim today, okay. Sheikh Al Albani, rahimahullah taala. So therefore, you respect Sheikh Al Albani. You read his books, you study, you benefit from him, and he mentions the hadith about Jumaa is Sahih. So you read Surah Al Kaf. You should do it based off of that. As far as research, and that's a different story. Clear on that? So based off of that hadith, there's sunnah to do it for those who hold that view regarding that hadith. يعني الحديث الوارد فيه فيه ما فيه والقول الصحيح أنه منقوف والقول الصحيح أنه ما ثبت حتى منقوفا عرفت كيف؟ لكن العامي الذي يقلد أحد العلماء ممن يصحح هذا الحديث ماشي لا نحب نشوش دائما وأبدا Clear on that, that first point. Mm -hmm. As far as with regards to the washing, which side of the body should you start with? There are different ways of making ghusl. One way of making ghusl is a bare necessity. The bare necessity. And what you get in the water, with the intention of course, and you put water in your mouth and your nose. And that's it. Whether it's janaba, whether it's minces, whether it's jumah, that's the bare necessity. The least you can do for jumah. And the Jumu'ah ghusl is spiritual, meaning you don't have to use soap. It's just a spiritual washing. Obviously, in light of what we read, you want to use soap and smell good and look nice. Mm -hmm. So that's one way of making ghusl. Another way of making ghusl is to do it in the sunnah way. And what you say, Bismillah, you start with your right side. You make wudu first. You wash your hair, one part, one part, one part, and you do everything, and then you wash your feet the last. That's the specific step-by-step -step recommended way of making ghusl. So to keep things simple, one says, uh, uh, or the narration it says, مَنْ اغْتَسَلَ يَوْمَ الْجُمْعَةِ غُسْلَ الْجَنَابَةِ أو غُسْلِ الْجَنَابَةِ It says, he who washes up on Friday, on Jumu'ah, the ghusl of being in a state of janaba, being with your wife. Some ulama, they say there's two interpretations. The first interpretation is 
the recommendation of having intercourse on Jumu'ah with your wife. Everyone understand this? That is what? A virtuous thing to do on that what? Day. On that day. If you're married, of course. If you're not married, then may Allah help you. Tayyib. Asha Yusuf. Tahtaj Thaniya. Hatta to Tabiq Sunnah. So you implement the Sunnah. That's first and foremost. And the second interpretation is what? Is that what's meant by that is that that's how you take that special Jumu'ah bath. You do it in a specific way in which you do all of the steps. It's not just a normal washing, but you do what? All of the steps. And FYI, as they say, Jumu'ah or Janaba, you don't have to necessarily use soap and shampoo. That's not a part of the spiritual washing. So you make sure that you do everything. And then afterwards comes your physical cleaning. And what you use soap and shampoo and so on and so forth. Clear on that? Mm -hmm. And Allah knows best. Wa yakum, wa yakum.